of the day. 99 more to go. Feels great now. Out of the four running videos we've done, two of them have been in the rain. <laughs> These guys didn't want to run. We were like, we're just going to do it for you. Three runners, it really makes a difference. We got Kim. 100 dogs, it seems well within our reach. Two best friends from Glenview are on a mission to help dogs at local shelters get adopted. Eric Noxon and Joey Maslowski began posting videos of dogs in urgent need of getting a second chance. Their videos started going viral with thousands of views, and they've already helped get 100 dogs adopted. Their latest challenge, for every 500 new followers they get, they have to run with 100 dogs. Wow, and they're here with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks and this for having is us. Leo. That's, this is Leo. Leo, yeah. How you doing, pal? Good? Yeah. yeah. Cute, cute. So how wow. did you guys, how did this become a passion for you guys? You went to high school together, mm -hmm. and how did this all happen? Yeah, so Joey and I met up, and uh, we thought that it would be a great idea to um, get on social media and be that young voice and sort of um, try to get as many dogs adop excuse me, adopted as we can. And yeah. it's, it's that old adage that you, it, a cute picture gets, sells the dog, right? Yeah. So you want to get them out there running and show them on video, is that it? Yeah, yeah, we thought the running campaign is a great way to sort of, a lot of the times, like, the shelter industry is pretty sad, and so getting them out running and getting them out, getting energy out is really good for the dogs because then they're not super cooped up in their kennel. And so that's, that's sort of why we're doing that, and we found that it's been a great way to show them off as well. Wow, and is it a wide variety of animals you're getting there at these shelters, or is it a wide variety of breeds? Oh, definitely a wide variety of breeds. Most of the yeah. dogs are like, are mutts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get a lot of older dogs, a lot of dogs that, um, you know, haven't seen a lot of families, and they, yeah. you know, puppies go quick, so. Sure. How do, they, how do they adapt, I mean, the older dogs, to you coming in, putting a leash on them, and going for a run. I saw, I saw that some of yeah. them don't want to run, but <laughs> yeah. they, for the most part, do they like it? Oh, yeah. they love it. Yeah, they love it. The most, I mean, most of the day, they're, they're spent inside in their kennel, in their crate. And so any, any chance for them to get out and get some activity, usually they're almost always excited, so. And all, of all of the dogs, how many have you taken out for a run and how many have gotten adopted? Um, we had a, a, one of our first videos went super viral and we got around like 1.6 million views and uh, the dog's name was Valerie and she got adopted within the week and yeah. uh, it was so awesome to see that the person had reached out to us being like, I saw the dog through your video and I just had this super strong emotional connection so they went in and, and adopted Valerie. So. Yeah. It was great. Where do you go with these videos? You're going to have to step it up. I mean, are these are <laughs> hype videos or, I mean, it's, yeah. you know, it's, there's always a new challenge, Yeah, there's right? always there's... a new challenge. So we just did 100 dogs, like, last week. the microphone. Delicious. Week. Yeah. And so we're sort of brainstorming right now on, on if we can get the community involved, potentially maybe do 1,000 or something, and just get more and more dogs out. Yeah. And I think get... dogs do, like, costumes as well. So they're... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Halloween's coming up. Yeah. So is there a particular shelter you're working with, or is this, do you go to a bunch of them? Yeah, so uh, Leopold here is from Rightway Rescue in um, Morton Grove, and we do work, a lot of work with Heartland Animal Shelter, as well as Border Tales. So if someone wants to walk in and say, I want to adopt that dog, what, what does that cost them? What do they have to do? Some people, they've never owned pets, but they have no idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, the adoption fees, it sort of ranges depending on the shelter and on the dog. If the dog's been there for a long time, it's probably going to be around 50 to to $100. But if, if they're sort of a puppy, you're looking at around $300. I mean, it ranges every right. rescue yeah. and every shelter. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's sort of within, within range for sure. Oh, well, it's just great, great work you guys are doing, and we appreciate you, you coming in and sharing your story with us. Good luck to you. Yeah, yeah thanks, thanks so much, guys. Larry would help you, but he's got the bum knees, and I, I, I'm not a runner myself. But uh, if people want to join you on your runs or walks, can mm -hmm. they do that too? Yeah, of course. Yeah. We, mm -hmm. um, we host events every once in a while, and we uh, definitely do some outreach on our social media page. Very cool. You can follow them both on social media. We'll put up their uh, contact right there. You can also check out their bandanas. You sell pink, a it's pinktongueco.com is where you sell bandanas. Pinktongueco.com, and we, uh, they pretty much help Joey and I do what we're doing now. So That's great. All right. Good luck, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Yeah.